Hello and welcome again. Today we'll be speaking about two very short inscriptions in the village of Tustelt. As you can see, I'm filming this from home because there was too much noise because of construction works in the village itself. So, the first inscription is this one, Ite at Josef, and it is found on a small chapel for St. Joseph on a hill in Dustled near a crossroads. Um, of course, this sentence is very easy, it means go to Joseph. And it comes, as the inscription says, from the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 55. Um, it is part of a longer sentence that says, Ite at Joseph et quiquit vabis dixerit facite. Go to Joseph and do whatever he will tell you. Um, of course, this chapel is um, sacred to uh, Saint Joseph, father of Jesus, but the sentence from the book of Genesis is from the story of Joseph, son of Jacob in Egypt, and Ite at Joseph are the words in the Bible spoken by the king of Egypt. There is a hunger and people go to the king and ask him what to do and he sends them to Joseph. Um, the inscription is from 1830, the year in which the chapel was built. It was later heavily extended in 1924, but they moved the door frame forward uh, in front of the new uh, building and kept the inscription. So that is number one. The second very short inscription we'll be discussing is this one. It's found on a water mill near the river, the Demer, in the village of Tastelt. Um, this water mill was built in 1618 on the spot where an other uh, more ancient mill uh, stood that was built in the 15th century but was destroyed around 1594. The mill was property of the Abbey of Averbode and that helps us understand this inscription. Because what you can see here is a coat of arms of Servas Vaas, the 35th abbot of Averbode who was the abbot from 1648 to 1698. Um, he was born in 16 something, 1608, I think, um, in a town called Herk, the Stadt, from an important family. Well, as you can see, the inscription mentions 1678, so probably this abbot ordered some uh, rebuilding or modification of the mill, which is no surprise because he is responsible for a lot of building in and around the Abbey of Averbode. Now the Latin. The Latin in his coat of arms says ne quit nimis. Very famous sentence is the Latin version from the Greek Meden Agan, which stood on the temple, the temple of Apollo in Delphi, along to other very prominent proverbs. It means, of course, nothing in excess, nothing too much. Um, the Latin is very well attested during um, the modern times after the Middle Ages, but the first attestation in Latin comes from the 2nd century BC, because this sentence is already present in the play Adria by Terence. 
and this abbot found it, found it fit to include it in his coat of arms. So that was it for today, two very short inscriptions from the beautiful village of Tastelt, and I hope to see you next time. I also want to thank my Patreon supporters. If you want to become involved too, check out my Patreon web page where you can find uh, worksheets and more about all the Latin we read here. So I hope to see you next time. Bye.